Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Livingston here, first grade teacher at Hidden Valley. I hope you all are well. Today I'm going to be doing our math lesson. First, we will start with three pages of awesome warm-ups, and then we will go into a review lesson. So let's get started. So we're going to start by reviewing our doubles facts. Let's recall that doubles facts are when we add two of the same number together. So what I want you to do is pause this video and write down these problems so that you can go along and answer with me. Remember, we want to remember these problems in our brain and not have to draw pictures to solve them. So go ahead and pause and write your answer and write your problems for me. Now that you have written your problems, let's rapidly go through each answer. Zero plus zero equals zero. Oops, there we go. One plus one equals two. Two plus two equals four. Three plus three equals six. Four plus four equals eight. Five plus five equals 10, 6 plus 6 equals 12, 7 plus 7 equals 14, 8 plus 8 equals 16, 9 plus 9 equals 18, and 10 plus 10 equals 20. Awesome job, boys and girls. You can use this slide again to keep practicing. Let's go to the next one. Now we're going to do a review addition problem using the word fewer. Shout out to my two friends in my class that I decided to use in this lesson. Pause and write down the story problem if you think it will help you. Otherwise, follow along with me. Jason has 12 cupcakes at his house. Aileen has seven cupcakes at her house. How many fewer cupcakes does Aileen have than Jason? So I started by underlining the question in orange. The next step that my class remembers is we always circle our numbers. So we know that we need to use 12 and 7 in our equations today. The last thing we're going to do is box the word fewer. That is a key word that tells us if we're going to be adding or subtracting. And we know that fewer means we must subtract. So we're going to start by drawing our 12 cupcakes to represent Jason's cupcakes. Of course, I used fun pictures, but you can just draw circles. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve cupcakes to represent Jason's. We now have seven cupcakes to represent Aileen's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And to recall this strategy, we're going to find matches between Jason's cupcakes and Aileen's cupcakes. And the leftover cupcakes, if there are any, will tell us how many fewer cupcakes Aileen has than Jason. So let's make our matches, cross them out, cross them out. They're still matching, cross them out, cross them out, cross them out, cross them out, cross them out. Oh, look. I cannot cross out any more cupcakes because Aileen's cupcakes are all crossed out already. We crossed out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cupcakes. Now we're going to circle the remaining cupcakes. There are one, two, three, four, five cupcakes left. We just solved that 12 minus 7 equals 5. Therefore, we found that Aileen has five fewer cupcakes than Jason. Awesome job, boys and girls. If you got lost or stuck or just want to try again, feel free to back up this video and go through this portion again. For our last review problem, we are going to review how to add tens and ones, or sticks and stones, which some of you have been calling them. Remember, these are our tens and ones blocks. Each stick as 10. You could also just draw lines to represent your 10 blocks, but I have the blocks to show you. On the right over here, we have our 10s and 1s chart where we're going to put our 10s here and our 1s here, and then when we read across, we will get our answer. So let's count. We have 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So we're doing 34 plus 10, 20, 21. 34 plus 21 equals. 
the first thing you're going to want to do, of course, is double check and write your numbers, is pause and draw your sticks and stones or your tens and ones so that you can follow the problem along with me. Remember, as I said, you can use lines and dots. I just have the tens and ones box to show you. So go ahead and do that. All right, now that you have your drawing, we need to circle our tens only. This is so that we can just add their groups of 10 without getting confused and mixing them all up together. So I have circled the tens only. Now I am going to count them. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, which is also, now we're gonna count by ones, one, two, three, four, five groups of 10. So there are 50 tens, 50 ones, and which is also five tens. So in our tens and ones chart, we put a five because there are five tens, which is also the same as 50 ones. Now, all we need to do is add our ones. One, two, three, four, five. We only have five ones, so we have five tens and five ones. So if we read that number across, we got 55. So we just found that 34 plus 21 equals 55. Feel free to draw some of your own problems like this. Draw a random number of tens and a random number of ones and feel free to add those. Now for our lesson, we are going to be reviewing measurement like we've done before. We're just gonna make sure we understand the key terms that go along with measurement. So we're gonna get started. First, I'm gonna read the problem and make sure we understand the vocabulary words that are in dark black. So, you can compare the lengths of two objects that are not next to each other. So, oops, sorry friends. There we go. So lengths are the measurement of how long something is from point A to point B. So in this example, we're using the white ribbon and we're comparing the length of the toy cars. So let's read these sentences to give us some clues. The gray car is shorter than the ribbon. As you can see, the gray car stops before the ribbon is, it has ended. The black car is longer than the ribbon. As you can see, the same exact ribbon stops before the black car has ended. So we can conclude that the gray car, this car, is shorter than the black car. We did not have to measure the cars. We simply used the same ribbon and compared where each car stopped on the ribbon. Now, for number two review, we have to circle the striped or gray object that is longer and use the white ribbon to help. So again, longer, we know, means we need to find the one that has more length, okay? The one that goes past the white ribbon. So it looks like the striped one continues past the white ribbon, but the gray one, oh, the gray one stops before the white ribbon. So we can conclude that the striped ribbon is longer than the other, than the ribbons and the gray object. Let's do the same thing at the bottom. We have to circle the dotted or black object that is shorter. Shorter is the one that has less length. And let's use the white ribbon to help. So it looks like the dotted ribbon stops before the white ribbon, but the black ribbon or the black object goes longer than the white ribbon. I, I think that this one is shorter because it stops before the white ribbon. There we go. So as you can see, we've used the words longer and shorter to compare length. For your activity, I want you to draw a ribbon on a piece of paper, any length. Draw an object that is shorter than the ribbon, so has less, less length than the ribbon, and draw an object that is longer than the ribbon, goes farther than the ribbon's length. Send a picture of your work to your teacher. Feel free to go back into the video to remember the words shorter, longer, and length if you need help. Good luck, boys and girls.